In this module, we're going to learn guitar tricks to add to our guitar solos. In this module, it'll be very beneficial to have the first position of the A minor pentatonic scale memorized as I will use that as a reference when doing these tricks. Of course, it's not completely necessary. It will be very helpful though. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to do a hammer-on, which is usually signified in tabs like this. In this case, we're playing on the fifth string and you can see that it says five H seven. That means you play the fifth fret and then you hammer on the next note into the seventh fret. So I'll show you what I mean. Put your first finger on the fifth string in the fifth fret. And then of course we're gonna hammer on to that seventh fret on that same string. You pick that fifth fret, fifth string, and then as it's ringing, you hammer on. So it changes the note. So the trick, the thing that's tricky about this is that you have to use your finger like a hammer and it has to press down hard enough so it won't stop the note like, you know, it's kind of just stopping the note. But if you hammer it on really hard and use that tip of your finger when you hammer on as much as you can, then you can hammer on pretty well. Sometimes it's te it tends to be easier to do that on the thicker string. So starting on a thick string and trying to hammer on um, will be much easier than doing something like on the first string. And you don't necessarily have to use the A minor pentatonic scale to practice this. Especially if you feel like, wow, my my third finger is really weak right now. I don't know if it has the capability of doing this. Well, then just for fun, just try that second finger and just see if you can get it out. So you hold down that fifth string and then just try that. Even though we're not part of the scale, we're not really playing in the scale, we're just trying to practice a hammer on, see if we can get it out. And that second finger tends to be stronger. Now it sounds like the Jaws film, <laughs> but that tends to be an easier finger to hammer on. Sometimes, you know, you can do a hammer on with no fingers and then just hammer on, you can even try it with your first finger, uh, six string and the first finger and the second fret or any fret or any string. So if you want to try a, a more challenging string. We can stay in the A minor pentatonic scale if you want. And we can do that third string. That third string, we're still using our third finger to hammer on into the seventh fret, but it's just a little bit more challenging. It's a smaller string. Um, so it makes it a little bit more challenging if you want more of a challenge. So you can see what both hands are doing at the same time. I will show you as well. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can try it with your pinky. You, if you're staying in the position one of the A minor pentatonic scale, you can pick the first, second, or sixth string. Uh, you can start with a sixth string because it's a little bit easier to do a hammer on and just play that seventh fret and hammer on into that 10th fret. Or first string. So play around with that. It can be a little challenging at first, but once you got it, it's it's really cool to be able to add to a solo. You can even practice the entire pentatonic scale all the way from the lowest note to the highest note by hammering on each finger as you go, like this. Something to note about this is that on an acoustic guitar, it is a little harder to get the notes to ring out like an electric guitar plugged into an amp. That isn't to say that you need an electric guitar to do this. Actually, if you strengthen your hand enough with an acoustic to make it sound amazing just an acoustic, 
then there's no doubt that you can be even better on an electric because an electric can make it easier to press down and do these guitar tricks. An electric guitar without an amp though is hard to hear. So if you don't have an amp and you have an electric guitar, you might want to get an amp to really get that full like ringing effect. And I will show you an example of that once we get through these guitar tricks and we get to adding them to the freestyle that we do and guitar licks. I will use my electric and my amp. But for now, since I know a lot of you play acoustics, showing you that you can do it on an acoustic is what I want to do because acoustics can be more challenging for some of these things, but it is, it sounds amazing and it really strengthens your hand. If you have any questions about this or if you're having a really hard time with it, definitely let me know. Make sure you bring your questions to me and I can help you out. These guitar tricks are super fun, but some of them can be more challenging than others. And just know, just like with anything with guitar, it takes time. And when it finally comes out the way you want it, it's like, yeah. And all of a sudden, like all the lights of heaven, you know, light up on you and it feels like the choir singing and I did it, you know, so. 